I am Allison K. And I am a marketer to tell y'all, stop creating more content in 2022. And why is that, right? So why do I want you to stop going on about your blog posts and your opt-ins and your white papers and your data collection of what you want to put out there in front of your audience? And that is because I want you to get more eyeballs on what you've already created, right? That's such a key part of marketing that we often overlook. So what I want to talk about is this idea about adding audience research in tandem with content distribution to get you to have what's known as earned media. So audience research is where you already know who you want to go after for your cause, your donors, the people who are going to advocate for what you're doing, but you have limited social media access. You have a limited newsletter list, right? So you're going to go find other audiences like that, and you're going to take your already made content you're not going to make more stuff. You're going to figure out how it fits perfectly with the identical audience. And then when the timing is right, you're going to pitch it to those who are holding that audience to get what we know as earned media. So the first thing you need to do is find out where your audience hangs out online. Now, of course, you can go through your own social media account. You can ask them. You can do one-to-one -one interviews. You can do all that good stuff. But I want to give you one really awesome tool that I think makes audience research really easy. And it's called SparkToro. It has a free account, and then you can also pay just for a month's use or ongoing. So what it does is it looks at all of these things, websites, podcasts, YouTube channels that your audience looks at, even press releases that they're interested in. So in my case, I do a lot of work with women's shelters and transition houses. I typed in what my audience talks about this, and I got the hashtags they use, the words they mention in their bios, the social media accounts they follow, the websites they look at, the podcasts they listen to, the YouTube channels that they watch. And when I click on one of those entities or brands, it gives me, as you can see here, all of access to those accounts. So all of a sudden you've got all these tabs opened up and with the paid version, you can go ahead and download a CSV, which can make finding your ideal audience much better. And again, through hashtags and who they follow, you can dive down locations they're in. It's a fabulous tool and I highly recommend it. So once you have that list, here's the hard, but I think incredibly, incredibly useful part is you need to go hang out where your ideal audience is and to pay attention to what's resonating in other people's channels. And why would you want to do this, right? Why not just get a CSV, do some research, and then go pitch to the person that owns that blog or pitch that other organization about doing some collaborative work together? Well, the first thing is you learn what really matters to your audience beyond your own organization's perspective, right? You're going to see um, what content is resonating and what falls flat. You're going to do basically a lot of market research just by seeing how others are interacting in someone else's audience space. You're going to expand your own network, your own following, and your own advocates, depending on the nature of where you're hanging out. There might be more back and forth in comments or in a forum. You're going to start building up that knowledge. When the time comes to pitch, you're not going to be one of those gross, icky, spammy emails because that entity is already going to be familiar with you and you're going to be familiar with that audience. And you want to pitch your amazing content when the moment is right, not when you think you've done the bare minimum research and you're going to go try to find out who owns this audience and just go pitch them. Hey, we have a great guide. Hey, we have a great video series. Hey, we have a great um, white paper about this topic that we all have deep uh, concerns about. You want to do it in a way that they're going to see your request and go, of course we want this, right? So you immediately are going to know their audience needs and how to talk about it in their terms for the pitch. You're more likely to be seen as a collaborator and not a nuisance because you're going to show that you are also in that same space. You understand their scheduling constraints. You understand the, the pros and cons that they're trying to work through as an entity similar to yours. You can better tailor the content you are going to pitch to them. So you're not just giving them your generic thing, you might want to pull out five or six pages of it and then collaborate. And you will also get a higher success rate of getting a yes, because they know that you're part of the continuum in the cause that matters to you and your organization. So my darlings, it's only five minutes. If you want to learn more, I wrote an article just for you. You can check it out at allisonkconsulting.com slash techsoup3. And if you're on LinkedIn and you've got your phone, I know you do, you can go ahead and score and give me a scan.